other than the steady state probability we can get some more measures. The first one is uh, the probability that the arriving customer has to wait an arrival. What is the probability that the arriving customer has to wait uh, on arrival? So, that means uh, the number of customers in the system is uh, greater or equal to c, then only the customer has to wait. So, the probability you add the probability of uh, p c sorry p n sorry here is a mistake uh, p p of x n where n is running from c to infinity. If you add all those probabilities that is going to be p c divided by 1 minus rho and this probability is known as a Erlang c formula for a multi server infinite capacity model that I am denoting with the letter c of a c comma lambda by mu because you need a number of servers in the system and you need a lambda as well as mu. If I know this quantity, I can find out what is a Erlang C formula. This is very important formula using that you can find out what is the optimal C such a way that the probability has to be minimum. You can find out what is the optimal number of servers is needed to have a some upper bound probability of arriving customer has to wait. Therefore, this Erlang C formula is very useful in performance analysis of uh, any system. The next quantity is uh, n q denotes the number of customers in the q. So, either I use the letter n suffix q, uh, earlier I use the letter uh, q itself. So, for that I am finding the joint distribution of uh, what is the probability that the number of customers in the queue is j and uh, the waiting time is going to be greater than 0. W is used for the waiting time. So, the waiting time is going to be greater than 0. That is same as the number of customers in the system that is uh, c plus j. What is the probability that j customers in the queue as well as the waiting time is greater than 0 that is same as what is the probability that uh, c plus j customers in the system. Do the little simplification. So, you will get uh, this uh, joint probability in terms of Erlang C formula. So, using that I am finding the conditional probability. What is the conditional probability that uh, j customers in the queue given that uh, the waiting time is greater than 0. If I do little simplification, I will get a 1 minus rho times rho power j where rho is lambda divided by c mu. This is nothing but the probability mass function of a geometric distribution. This is the probability mass function of a geometric distribution. Therefore, this conditional probability is, not, is, a, is geometrically distributed with the parameter rho. From this, you can find out the expected number of a the next measure is expected number of busy servers. What is the average number of busy servers? That is nothing but the summation of n equal to 0 to c minus 1 n times p n. That means, whenever the system size is less than c, only those many servers are busy and with the probability. Whenever n customer or more than n customers in the system all the C servers are going to be busy, therefore C times P. If you simplify, you will get a C times rho. So, that is the expected number of busy servers. Once I know the expected number of busy servers, I can find out what is the expected number of ideal servers also. It is a negation. That is the expected number of ideal server is nothing but expectation of a it is a random variable. So, ideal number is nothing but uh, there are totally C servers in the system. Therefore, C minus B C servers are capital B. Therefore, C minus B is same as I. So, the expectation satisfies the linear property. Therefore, expectation of I is same as expectation of C minus B. C is a constant and B is a random variable. Therefore, it is a C minus expectation of a B. Expectation of B just now we got c times rho. Therefore, the expected number of ideal server is c times 1 minus rho. 
So, other than stationary distribution for the MMC model, we are getting what is the probability that our arriving customer has to wait and uh, we are getting the conditional uh, probability of a J customers in the queue given that waiting time is greater than 0 as well as this expected quantities we are getting. Also, we can find out what is the expected number of customers in the system that is nothing but uh, expected number is nothing but uh, expected of the busy, busy servers plus uh, expected number in the queue. Earlier I used the notation n suffix q, n suffix q and q are both one and the same. So, I can compute what is the expectation of q, do the little simplification, then I can substitute expectation of q here, therefore I will get expected number of customers in the system that involves uh, the Erlang C formula. So, this Erlang C formula is used uh, to get the expected number of customers in the system and then later we can do some optimization over the probability expected number with the specified C and lambda by mu. So, using uh, Little's formula, using Little's formula, I can find out the expected uh, time spent in the system because I know what is our arrival rate and uh, from the stationary distribution I got uh, expected number in the system in a steady state. Therefore, since I know lambda and expectation of I n, I can get expectation of R, where R is the response time or um, sojourn time or total time spent in the system. So, that expectation is going to be expectation of E n divided by lambda, do little simplification you will get expectation of R. You can apply the Littles formula in the Q level also. So, this is a system level and you can apply the Q level also. So, lambda times expectation of a waiting time is same as expectation of a number of customers in the Q. So, expectation of a waiting time or average waiting time is same as expectation of a Q divided by lambda. So, using uh, since the MMC, uh, MMC infinity Q, the underlying stochastic process is a birth death process. Therefore, we are getting all the measures using the birth death logic. Next, I am going for the finite capacity. So, the n is the capacity of the system. That means, uh, whenever the customers arrives and uh, find a Q full, that customer will be rejected. Therefore, at any time the number of customers in the system, if you make it as a random variable, that random variable takes the possible values from 0 to capital N. Therefore, the state space is finite. The number of customers in the system any time t, that is a random variable and you will have a stochastic process. And since the inter arrival time is exponentially distributed, service is exponentially distributed only one server finite capacity. Therefore, the underlying stochastic process is a birth death process with the birth rates lambda, the death rates mu. If you see the Q matrix for uh, this one infinitesimal generator matrix, that is a dry diagonal matrix with the all the off diagonals or uh, lambdas as well as mu and the diagonals are minus lambda plus mu except the first term and the last term, the except the first row and the last row. Our interest is to get the stationary distribution, later I am going to explain the time dependent solution also. So, to get the stationary distribution, either uh, you write the pi q is equal to 0 and the summation of pi a is equal to 1 and solve that or you write the balance equation. The pi q is equal to 0 that will land up a balance equation. So, some books writes this as a balance equation. What is the inflow rate and what is the outflow rate? Both are going to be same whenever the system reaches the equilibrium solution. 
equilibrium state. Therefore, the outflow is a lambda times this, the inflow is mu times lambda 1, like that you can go for understanding the balance equation for this state and second and so on. And this also satisfies the time, this is also called a satisfying the time reversible equation. Therefore, one can use the time reversible property of a birth death process. So, you can find out the pi i's easily using the time reversible equation itself. You do not want to use a pi q is equal to 0 instead of that uh, you can write the time reversible equation since it is satisfied by all the states. Now, we can use the summation of pi a is equal to 1 i starting from 0 to n therefore, you will get a pi naught and here the birth death process with the finite state space therefore, the pi naught will be 1 divided by the denominator uh, series that is a finite series finite terms in it therefore, it is always converges immaterial of the value of lambda and mu therefore, you will get a pi naught without any restriction over lambda and mu. So, once you get the pi naught, you can get pi a is in terms of pi naught. Therefore, that is a 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho power n plus 1 times rho power i, where rho is lambda by mu. So, this is the birth, the underlying stochastic process is a birth death process with the birth rates lambda and death rates mu. So, you can use all the concepts of the birth death process and you can analyze the system in a easy way. So, this is a steady state probability. Once you know the steady state probability, you can get the other measures also. Here, the other important thing is called the effective arrival rate. That means, uh, the system, the queuing system is a finite capacity. So, maximum n customers can wait in the system and the service rate is mu, the arrival rate is lambda from the infinite population. So, whenever the system size is full, the customer is rejected. Therefore, there is a rejection after the service is completed, the system leaves the system. So, the effective arrival rate nothing but uh, what is the rate in which the system is uh, the customers are entering into the system. So, there is a partition here. So, the effective arrival rate is a lambda f. That rate will be what is the probability that the system is uh, not full multiplied by the arrival rate lambda that is going to be the lambda effective whenever the system is not full, that pro proportion of the time of the probability is 1 minus uh, pi n, where pi n is the steady state probability, just now we got it. From here, you can get a pi suffix n, that is the probability that the system is full and 1 minus pi n is the probability that the system is not full and multiplied by the arrival rate, that is going to be the lambda effective. And you can also find out the throughput. Throughput is nothing but uh, what is the rate in which the customers are served per unit of time. The service rate is mu, and this is the probability that the system is uh, not empty 1 minus pi naught. Therefore, 1 minus pi naught times mu that is the rate in which the customers are served in the MM1 N system whenever the system is not full, not empty sorry, whenever the system is not empty multiplied by that probability multiplied by mu that is going to be the throughput. By using the time reversible equation, the mu times 1 minus pi naught you can get in terms of uh, lambda's equivalent also, but the throughput is uh, the service rate multiplied by what is the probability that the system is not empty. Since it is a finite capacity system, one can find out the blocking probability also. Blocking probability is nothing but the probability that the customers are blocked. 
the customers are blocked whenever the system is full. Therefore, the blocking probability is same as the probability that the system is full that is pi n. Once you know the steady state probabilities, you can find out the average number of customers in the system and using the Littles formula, you can get expected uh, time spent in the system by any customer divided by not lambda, it is lambda effective because the effective arrival rate is uh, used in the Littles formula, not the arrival rate. For a MOM on infinity system, the effective arrival rate and the arrival rate are one and the same because there is no blocking. Therefore, the probability of 1 minus pi n that is equal to 1 only. Therefore, the effective arrival rate and the arrival rate are same for a infinite capacity system because there is no blocking. For a finite capacity system, the effective arrival rate has to be computed. Similarly, we have to go for finding the MOM lambda effective for the MMC K model also. So, other than stationary distribution or equilibrium probabilities, we are getting the other performance measures using the birth death process concepts 